Hi everyone. Do you remember this? This was when Foodie was laughing and joking about how gross and lazy she is, boasting about it and saying to us, let me just show you underneath her desk. Let me just show you underneath my desk and this is the normal state of affairs for her. Not only underneath her desk, but beneath her undercarriage, beneath her abaya, beneath those black jeggings or slacks or whatever it is she wears. Um, as I understand it, to get chub rub, it's skin on skin. Or she wears trousers beneath that abaya. So how is that chub rub? Apart from which, she passed being chubby, what, about £350 ago. People are saying she's 550 I was being kind when I said 500 but this is how her desk, beneath her desk, used to look. Food packages, Coke containers, coffee cups. Who knows what's there. Plus we all remember as well the fresh, dried cat food being thrown on the days old dried cat food. Imagine the bugs and anything else that's crawling there. Remember the fruit flies? The fruit flies not only in the villa, but when she shared an apartment with BV. The cupboards, or what we call wardrobes here, to contain their clothes, where she used to hide her takeaway pizza boxes full of the occasional scrap of garlic or cheese that she forgot to hoover up with that snout. Everywhere she goes, she leaves a mess. Everywhere she's lived, She's had bugs and fruit flies. She's mentioned about when she's got smaller boils. So boils for her are a regular occurrence. Whoops. A regular occurrence. And whilst I know that boils aren't always down to hygiene or lack of it. In her case, I think we're on a safe bet to make that, um, to surmise that, I think. This is just a pic showing the state of her skin. You notice all the white heads and the black heads? Look closely at that. What a mess. And that's with filters. Again, imagine what's going on underneath that. A buyer. Ugh. So can people change from this? The grossness, the filth, the degradation, the gluttony. the absolutely vile actions towards other people, other channels and their families, towards their own family. Can somebody change almost overnight and become a devout Muslim? I don't think so. I think it, it, it's got to be a process, hasn't it? You have to go through that 
what I've often said that the dark night of the soul where there's a lot of self-reflection and introspection before you can change this thing hasn't changed at all <laughs> So I posted this um, in part of a video about six months ago, seven months ago, I think. And um, just to show you how enormous that pineapple contoured face is. And to draw your attention to the fact that she's easily 100 pounds heavier now than this and um, it's unfortunate that although she's got no fil uh, slimming filters on there are smoothing filters on so you can't see the sandpapery skin that looks as though it's filled with little white dots and little black little white pustules and little black pustules. That's a bit better, isn't it? It goes quite blurred when I enlarge it. Um, but if you look at, at her teeth, look at her face, compare it to the other image that I put up of her, the first one, where she all dolled up. And really, to me, she looks like somebody in her fifties, yeah. her mid fifties. Not being, I'm being truthful. She looks Older. like a woman in her mid fifties, maybe harassed by half a dozen kids, and her husband is barely there. And um, Do you blame him? You know, she eats to uh, because she's lonely, and because she's got so much on her plate. But this is Chantal, and because she's rotten. And her plate. Well, I was going to say her plate is empty. Yeah, her plate is empty, because she eats out of food containers. <laughs> so, this is the real Chantal, and you can hear a voice, it was shocking a voice at seeing, at seeing this image. Whatever. <laughs> Look. <laughs> I understand. Yeah, you're so pretty, Chantal. If you think this is the way you like to try. So that last picture, compared to this one, um, there's quite a difference, isn't there? Although she's got no um, makeup on here that you can see. She's got some eyebrow pencil on, I think. Maybe lip gloss. But she's certainly got... Um, the complexion smoothing filter on and she does have a slimming filter on also quite clearly look at that shadow and this is what I say at the, at the start of this video look at it you would think that that was a fish gliding through the water, wouldn't you? With the uh, conical nose and the sort of serrated teeth if the mouth was wide open. Great big flippers at the back. But it's not. It's not a great big fish. So what the devil is this? It's her shadow. The one I spoke earlier about in my um, live stream. Just look at the shape of that shadow. You can tell it's her. There's a sketches. <laughs> Just look at that. Weirder. And a slimline wow. Salah. Salah's lost some weight, hasn't he? 
if this picture's to be believed, and it's it not. not, no, it's not. Um, it's clearly put on a lot of weight, actually. If you look at the so, what I'm saying is, what is presented to you is very rarely, if ever, the truth as far as Chantal is concerned and the seller. That boil has been um, ongoing, I would take uh, an educated guess at, since Kuwait. I would also take an educated guess at the fact that when she went, attended the, um, the clinic in, the, in Kuwait, um, and surely they would have done blood work and all the rest of it, would they have given her um, the all clear to travel to a place like Thailand or to anywhere except to her home country? Would she have gotten the all clear? As I said in a video yesterday or the day before, has she had all the necessary inoculations, vaccinations? Has she? Would she have been allowed to go anywhere with a boil the size of Mount Vesuvius that needed to be packed and repacked every couple of days? That boil has been on the boil for longer than the short week or so since she left Kuwait. It's been fermenting and stinking and reeking despite what she says and it might just made me laugh how she came out with I mean not laughing ha ha just um I don't know a laugh of embarrassment for her I suppose but she's never embarrassed for herself is she um that she can quite you know offhandedly say uh, when I usually get boils, or the boils I usually get, or the smaller boils I usually get. There are some conditions whereby people are prone to boils. If they carry the certain virus in their nose, similar to MRSA, um, and diabetes is an additional concern. But you can almost guarantee that with this woman, it's largely concerned with lack of hygiene. It's to do with walking around in the same clothes, doing as she did when she was in um, Canada for all the years, the 39 years, well, say the 30 whatever years since she'd been looking after herself when the clothes have been thrown on the floor, picked up, sniffed and worn another day or four. And of course, in a country where it's so hot and so humid, that really is a no-no. It's a breeding ground for all sorts of germs, all sorts of bugs. And whatever has crawled out of that Mount Vesuvius infection onto her trousers and she won't be getting shop rob because she wears she wouldn't get it anyway she's not shubby she's super duper morbidly obese but she wears trousers anyway so um, the bugs would have come out onto them have gone onto her knickers if she's wearing any now she never used to wear them, did she? She used to go around, what's the word? Um, I can't remember the word. There's a name for it when you don't wear, when ladies don't wear knickers. What, what is it? I don't know. But um, she never used to wear them anyway. Never used to wipe after going to the lavatory. She's just a dirty, stinking piece of humanity in many ways in many ways good luck with your boil good luck with the person who's got to treat it is that you Salah? 